Hey, 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 hey! Welcome everyone to Sim Aviator. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to another Thursday. And today, we're doing something different, right? I'm flying the A340 from Jar Design in the Singapore Airlines colors. We got all the ground handling sets and everything going on here. Ooh, 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 ooh. We'll see. We'll see. I, I definitely, I'll tell you guys one thing, right? This aircraft, I haven't flown before. I just installed it yesterday. I'd, I had it for a while, but I hadn't installed it because I moved to a new system and all those kind of things. So I, this is the first time I'm flying it. Our butter or the greasy PZ streak is on the line today. Don't know what to expect and I'm risking it today just for the poll that we put that day. Anyway, welcome Umer Stephanides, man. Good to see you, my man. The real hack says good game already. <laughs> yeah, we better need that positive rate aviation, man. Good to see you. How you doing, man? Ah, oh, wow, 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 wow. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. I'm just quickly gonna check up on my stream after everything's working the way it's supposed to be. It's looking good. You guys wanna jump into the cockpit? Let's jump in. Here we go. Cold and dark. Let's go. Battery one and battery two coming on. And so does APU, t APU battery come on. Now obviously we are flying with four engines. We got four thrust levers, so that's gonna be a very interesting thing to do. I mean, the only four engine aircraft that I've ever flown is the 747, so definitely looking forward to this one. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and what is this? This is the fuel pumps. We're gonna keep those off for now. Let's turn on the packs here. And do we have external power? Yeah, we do. Let's connect external power here and we are good to go. Uh, we're gonna go line the IRS's, put that to nav, wait for the battery light to go off and we'll go forward from there. IR2 and then the last one will be IR3 once the battery light goes off. All right here we go, so that is doing its thing. We have the hat tower online a while back, I don't know if we still have it or her, whoever that is. We do have power online. I think that is John. Um, I'm probably like that. That's, that looks like an A321. No, that's an A319, I believe. I don't know, man. Our plane looks so big, so that one looks small, so I can't really compare the sizes. Anyway, 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 let's do this. This is a weird weather. It looks like something with the visibility here. 
I'm just gonna quickly check what it's looking like. Oh, there's only three mods visibility. Is that is that right though? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let's let's check. Three miles visibility. That's gonna be an interesting takeoff. Oh, Mr. Bakazato, welcome to the stream, my man. Good to see you. How you doing, man? Great to see you on the stream, man. Welcome, welcome aboard, John. Welcome to the stream. Are you flying the A319 or the A321? All right. Let me let me have a closer look here. <laughs> that's yeah, that's definitely a 19. He's flying the 19 today. <laughs> Uh, yeah, from far I couldn't really tell. It slightly looked long. I don't know why, but yeah, here we are guys Back to the cockpit here um, And we're gonna take a look. Everything's looking good here. Let's go ahead and change up the music here from the intro music here and Oops wrong one. Oh, you're on MSFS today. Nice. Yeah, man I, I got I got like partial ortho, but to be honest with this visibility I mean, doesn't even matter what, what ortho we have. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, Microsoft has been working better, definitely. Um, all right, so let's see. All right, so that's the ground handling we're using. So we're gonna bring up the flight plan for you guys, and let's bring that up here. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and load up the aircraft now i have again disclaimer i haven't done this before i haven't flown this plane i haven't tested this plane all i've done is come in set up the camera views and out that's all i have done so it's gonna be a very very interesting flight all right so we got why am i even using those buttons all right here we go so payload we have zero fuel weight and all those things let me see what we can do with that information in this one uh i can't bring that up all right here we go uh let's go um back to menu load and fuel i mean i found the a330 so i have a little bit of the idea what to expect <laughs> yeah let's let's check avitab here let me check uh maybe explain real weather is messed up who knows oh uh, yeah it's just 4600 so that's four kilometers so about 2.8 miles sounds like what it is so yeah that's that's what it is we got a visibility of four and a half kilometers um so yeah all right so at least we know explain showing real weather <laughs> the real axis here hopefully what happened to Shaq doesn't happen man yeah hope for the best man hope for the best <laughs> we gotta do some more work no worries man no worries always happy to have people in the background and in the chat always always just life first as i always say do what you gotta do I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be around for tons of other streams. So no need to worry about that. All right. So, what is the info I'm looking at? All right. Fuel we have is let's see, 20.1 kilograms. Uh, this is also kilograms, so that's good. So we're gonna take 2100, 20,100 on the fuel. Uh, zero fuel weight is what we're looking at here 205.0 so this is just a little bit more let's put that in here okay so that doesn't work so i'll have to play with the packs uh packs it says we have 280 Wait, what i can't i can't change that too okay maybe maybe this one doesn't have that capacity true stone 77 my man how you doing good to see you as always man welcome aboard and yeah man always a pleasure all right so we're gonna take this down to zero and see what happens here right uh, that's 203 and we're looking at 205 so let's put uh that's about 2000 2000 kilograms of cargo on board and that's about what we want to see all right so this is what it says max passengers it can only do 250 so that is what it is all righty so we have the center of gravity here. I don't know what to do with that information. Uh, we got actual center of gravity, 34.7. Is there a way to fix it though? That'll be interesting. Again, please, please, please have patience with me today. Again, first time flying this aircraft. So gonna have to figure a lot of things out. Now, uh, let's go back to ground handling and let's go to fuel. The fuel truck has to come up in a second here. But I, okay, so that one's coming up. We're gonna be fueling from the no, no, no! Don't crash into that, man. That's the same company. You're the, you're all from the same company, guys. 
Alright. So truck's coming in, going through God knows what. And it's finally come to the right hand side. And at some point we should be able to see a bar. At least that's what happened here in the jar A330. So I would assume that isn't changed and we can use that info. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe whatever you put in the McDo is what it's going to use. Let me check. Let me check it real quick. All right, 2100. All right, so that's good. So we technically didn't need the fuel truck there. So that's looking good. Uh, I also want to know if my iPad FMC works with uh, this aircraft. I think, I thought so. Okay, so it's not going to work. Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, here we go. I think something something did work here, but it looks like a Boeing FMC with a Airbus screen, so that is clearly not correct. Let me see what happens if I go to in it here and if that changes anything here. And okay, so we're not using the iPad today. That's fine. That's fine. It's just it's a new aircraft. Anyway, so what we're looking at here, we got our fuel done, we got our payload done. IRS is being aligned, so we're gonna go to in it. And we don't have company route, so we're gonna go ahead, go W I I I, and that's Jakarta to Singapore. That is W S S S. I, I, I kind of don't get their um, obsession with those three, three letter stuff. I mean, three same letter. I don't know. Uh, let's put that in. That didn't work, did it? Are we crashing? Okay, no. <laughs> Oh man, that, that gave, gave me a heart attack right there. It just stuck for a moment. All right, flight number, we are SIA, Singapore Airlines flight 957. Let's put that in here. Cruise flight level for today is going to be 380 and hopefully we don't have to put the temperature, that's fine. Let's hit the align IRS button and I think it's, there we go. And still, let's go to flight plan, um, and I think we do have tower online, so it's better we contact them before we do uh, before we do the rest of the stuff. So we have the ATIS here, uh, information Golf time two three zero zero UTC arrival runway two five left two five right departing runway two five left two five right and two four. So let's see what Simbrief gave us. Uh, Simbrief's given us two five left, so that is good. Uh, I don't know what side of the airport we're on though. No. So let's see if we can take probably take two five right. Let's go to airport diagram. Uh, let's see. Uh, what was the number I was looking at? There we go. All right. How do you guys like the music? All right, so we are right here. So we have two five right. So that's what we're gonna take. We're not gonna taxi all the way to two five left. We're gonna take two five right here, um, and let me just contact him with the flight plan. That's that's a better thing to do here. Information golf is what we have. I'm quickly gonna set up our altimeter for today, which is uh, oh they're using ARAC two one o eight. We're on two one o nine twenty one o nine. So that's another thing. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where the altimeter is. Uh, one zero. It's it's in text, so Q and H is one zero one zero. So that's what we're looking at. So let's go back there. Get that down. Uh, let's set. That. This is weird. The scroll doesn't work on it. One zero one zero. All right. So at least those are together. And let's check quickly. Check the radio and the frequency here. We're looking at one one eight. Oh, I'm surprised. I'm surprised uh, my radio panel doesn't want to work as well. So we are 118.2 is what we're looking at. Let's bring that down, 118. There we go, 118.2. And Jakarta Tower, good evening. Singapore 957 radio check. Actually, it's good morning for them, sorry. Oh, okay, my radios aren't connected for some reason. I mean, obviously, you can clearly see I haven't flown this aircraft before. So let me check that. And uh, that doesn't work. All right, let me geez. check, check, check. Hold on. Uh, 
Uh, okay, there we go. But I think my mic is not working. I don't know why. What's going on here with everything? Check. No, that doesn't work. I gotta restart. I gotta restart X Pilot. Sorry about that. But X Pilot. Let's connect. It doesn't connect. Okay, there we go. Flight plan. I'm gonna go ahead and file it again. Let me check my settings here. All right, it's detecting my ma mic. I just gotta make sure. All right, so now push to talk is working. And Jakarta Tower, uh, Singapore Airlines, uh, 957 radio check. All right, he got 25 right. Good morning, and thank you. Requesting IFR to Singapore, Singapore 957. Uh, clear to Singapore has filed uh, flight level 380 initial climb 240. We are Delta 2 departure, uh, Delta 2 Delta departure, uh, and squawk 2370 for Singapore 957. A call for push Singapore 957. Thank you. All right, so that's that's all. That's all the difference that we have to see here. So let's go ahead here. Let's go boop departure and I believe Delta 2 Delta departure. This is the Delta 2 Delta. It's kind of like a, a tongue twister that we're talking about here. Delta 2 Charlie is what we plan for. That's 25 light, but we're going to take 25 right, right. So we're going to select that and let's see if Delta 2. Wait, wait what? I don't see it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Adult 2 Delta departure, no transition. Uh, let's go to temporary flight plan, insert that. Uh, and our arrival is going to be for now, Repulve 1 Alpha. Let's go there. Oh, this one doesn't let you do it. Very interesting. Let's select 2 right. 2 right. And we'll pull one alpha. We'll change it if we get ATC. If not, we'll see what, what happens. Wait, that's for pull one bravo. Whatever, man. I, I have no clue what's happening here. I right, insert that. So we're looking at uh, Delta, then G5792 Repove. So we gotta put that airway in. So airways. Uh, G Golf. Where is it? G579. Just quickly checking. All right, that's looking good. To repove. R E P O V. Let's insert that. And I check Delta, and then repove. We're gonna clear that, and clear that, and then again clear that. Insert that. And we're good to go. So we got a call for push, but before that, we're gonna go ahead, get to init B, make sure we get our numbers here. Block fuel is coming in. Uh, we're looking at center of gravity for zero fuel is 33.3. We're gonna go to perf here, and flaps one. I don't, I don't even know what to put in THS. That's good to go. Transition altitude says 11,000. Hey, DC flies, my man. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Welcome aboard. Are you flying along, my man? Uh, yeah, I can't. Wait, where's where, where did John go? I'm connected. Wait, why did I get disconnected? What the hell? Why is it doing this? Okay, he's back now. Uh, that doesn't do anything. That is very interesting. All right. They're looking good. Look at all those ground services. They need to go. They need to get out of here. Make do menu, doors, uh, sorry, ground handling. We're going to keep the GPU. We're going to get rid of all of this. I load it up. And let's go flat plan. We're going to go make sure we have everything. We got our perf numbers. 
we are going to go and push the throttle to Toga because I don't I don't trust this plane, man. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. This is the first time I'm flying it. I want to be very careful doing anything here. Um, so yeah, that's looking good. I don't even know what uplink takeoff data means. We we already got stuff there. So we one's 148, 151 is a we rotate, and 152 is V2. Mr. Dre Sanchez, good to see you as well. Like button smash, thank you so so much, man. Appreciate it, appreciate it, and always always good to see you, my man. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of the flight plan here for you guys. G -g -g there, I should start using my phone as a stream deck. You know, just makes life easier. Uh, but we're looking good. We're looking good. So let's go ahead and turn on the APU here. Let's wait for about five seconds here. Uh, make sure we got uh, seatbelt signs on. No smoking signs on. Uh, strobes to auto. Beacon light is coming on. Nav to one. I forgot. Completely forgot that. And APU is coming on. I'm going to go ahead and turn on APU bleed as well here. I'm going to turn on the fuel pumps as we are almost ready to push back. That's a lot of fuel pumps, but not as many as the Concorde. So external power is still connected. We're going to wait for the APU to come on, and then we'll get out of there. And guys, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and the subscribe button. Always appreciate that support coming up on uh, 10 likes already. Appreciate it. All right, let's call for push. First, got to check where we're pushing back to where pushing back tail to the left let's go ahead better push back start push back i don't even know how he's going to be able to do that but we'll give him the job that's his job he'll push us however we want him to <laughs> man I'm, I'm trying it i'm trying let's see what happens i'm gonna try for sure i'm gonna just set up the trim to like yeah right there about somewhere in the middle because i don't have the calculations here for that set of variety but good to see you james welcome to the street welcome aboard this flight we don't know we'll complete captain geo's in the house ladies and gentlemen the man himself welcome aboard my man good to see you all guys absolutely we're flying the a340 we are in in james's language we're torturing ourselves all right so pushback tug is coming in uh let's check if our apu's on which it is so i'm gonna in the lord's name i'm gonna turn off the external power all right nothing happened <laughs> yeah, we gotta remember the lord today if not any other day uh flight directors are on and APU, I'm just gonna quickly check. Uh, let me see, where's the APU here? APU, SAS open, available. We got the bleeds on. And we're ready for push. So we're gonna go ahead and have all these. Wait, why is this coming up again? Let's go make two menu, ground handling. Uh, Jeep, drive away. GPU disconnected. And let's see if they're actually driving away. Hey, guys, get out of the way. We gotta push. Why would he, like, just line up behind the aircraft? Do they do this, okay. IRL, James? No, we can't release parking brake. Hold on. So that the fuel truck is going away. That one's going away. The bus. His jetways are not functional here at Jakarta. Um, but the, the rest of them, they don't want to... I, I, I don't really know, guys. I don't really know what to do with this. All right, no worries, James. All good. Uh, wait, right click. Ah, interesting. Let's call for push. And tower Singapore 957 requesting push. Two three. All right, squawking two three seven zero Singapore nine five seven nine zero five seven. Fly guy, my man. Welcome aboard. Yep, it is Jar. It is Jar. <laughs> I see, you, man. Tibogo Mukolo, my man. Good to see you, man. How are you doing? Long time, buddy. Long time no see, but as always, great to see you. Hey. 
Hey, from where's squawking 2370? Wait, what's going on? Push and start approved facing east and we'll expect November Charlie 5 uh, for taxi Singapore 9 or 57. All right, so that's looking good. Um, that's exactly where he wants us to push is what we have planned. Let's get the parking brake off. I'm going to get rid of the music here and let's go ahead and turn the engines on. What is the engine start order? Inner engines first is what I believe. So we're going to go engine number two first. All right, so those are coming on. Here we go. And good to have you here, my man Tobogo. It's 8 p.m. Get to class. <laughs> man, Fly Guy, good to see you, man. I wanted to I wanted to give you a wrench a while uh, when you were here, but I had to just get it done with. Otherwise, I would forget again if you were on stream. So I just like, yeah, let's get the wrench. But yeah, Fly Guy is the newest mod on the channel. He's been on Discord for a while, but he's the newest mod on streams. So welcome to Fly Guy. Welcome as a mod, my friend. All righty. Let's go. That engine is seems to be uh, available. I don't even know why it doesn't say avail. And then one's dropping here, which is very interesting. Why is just subsiding there? I don't know, man. What's what's happening here? I'm just gonna go ahead. I don't know, man. It doesn't say available. It should have said available, but we're gonna go to turn, turn our head, turn on engine number three here. Let's do this, guys. Right, that one's coming on. It does show the selected engines apparently. Now, that that plane does look nice. Like single IO four engines. It's 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 a unique plane, guys. It's a unique plane. It's fuel pumps on? Oh yeah, absolutely. All fuel pumps are on. It does say generator falls, but that's because those are not those engines are not on. Hopefully we don't get like fires or something because you do have failures and things like that. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even want to try. I don't even want to try. I think I know what is happening. Jeez. You guys, you guys don't miss an opportunity to, to bash the plane, man. All right, so that one's looking good as well. Let's go, engine number one here. Let's set the parking brake. Uh, we didn't turn on our beacon lights. So. Oh, actually, we did. That's good. Uh, I need I need the lights on top here somewhere. So I'm gonna check uh, where the lights are. We we got four hydraulics. So like green is run by actually just three hydraulics, but and there's one and four run the two hydraulics right there. So that is that is kind of cool. Uh, what are we looking at here? So I, I'm trying to get the maybe no actually not. Just want to make sure. Okay, so those do work. It's probably somewhere here. Um, all right, integral light or integral light. Hey, scrolling works on that. But okay, suddenly it started working. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and get the engine number oh, four going. Like there we go. Flood. No, we don't need the flood well, light. I need a. I need a light for these. Okay, I think. I think those are on. Yeah, looks better. Looks better. Just shatter. <laughs> the jar in the can. Was was that song? Whiskey in the jar? No, something in the jar. A Metallica song. I, yeah, I think it's Whiskey in the Jar. That's a that's a real nice um song. Alright, nose lights coming on. Wing lights. Uh we're looking at runway turnoffs here. And we're going. We're good to go. Let's check what we have here. We're gonna taxi and tower Singapore 957 ready for taxi. Wait, are we disconnected again? Hey, what's going on, man? That's not good. And tower Singapore 957 ready for taxi. And that's John in front of us, by the way. Five, November, 
Uh, runway 2, fire red, taxi via November Charlie 5, November Papa 2, and November 1 uh, for uh, Singapore 957. Alright, let's do this. We're good to go. Mm, taxi lights are on, so let's get that parking brake out. And let's taxi here. Oh! Totally forgot. Alright, ready to taxi. Oh, he's already gone. Yeah, something is really off with that simulator. I keep getting disconnected. I can see John's plane right here. Just going back and forth for some reason. Uh, let's arm the spoilers. Alright, starting that left turn. Back to idle thrust. At least one thing I can say already so far is that this plane, maybe it's because of four engines, but this plane is much, much better on... This plane is much, much better on my... Uh, on the thrust, on the taxi, because the A330, it actually required, like, ridiculous amount of thrust to get it moving. I don't know if it's because of the fourth engine or they fixed it on this aircraft. So I can already see one positive on this aircraft, which is good. Oh, John's getting this close to... Okay, got it. So then it's probably Watson. It's probably Watson messing up after that. I think I've lost John here. Yeah, we're disconnected again. Now we're going to go ahead and get the flaps to one... There we go, flat. Those Look at those wings, guys. Look at those wings. Those are like huge. They're going all the way out on the grass. All right, flaps coming out to flaps one. Flaps plus slats one. That's a lot of flap. Wait, what is... What? Hold on. No, that, that is not right. That is not right. Yeah, that's... So uh we are squawking mode charlie here uh let me check once again now we're on tara maybe that um do you see it now singapore 957 roger thank you Roll Film Productions, why do I have it in the middle? Because apparently I don't have enough space to put it on the side. That's the problem. <laughs> Good to see you, man. But yeah, that's the reason why. And the other reason why is the camera angle for the joystick. It's like multiple things. I mean, I don't like doing this. But I mean, I don't, I don't have enough space on my desk to put it on the side. You know what I mean? Unless I do like some sort of mod or something. So that's why I have it on the side. Um, DC Aviator, man. Good to see you. How are you doing? Oh, it's history. Man, how many times you change your name, buddy? <laughs> New name once again. Long time no see, man. Absolutely, man. Great to see you, my man. Great to see you. Always a pleasure, man. I haven't been here. Man, I've been, I haven't been here much either. <laughs> of course, that is incorrect. That's just chalk. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it looks like a lot more flap. Again, I don't know. I don't know. But it does look like a lot lot more flap than that would be. I, I'm, I would be interested to see how flaps 2, 3, and four look like uh let's see so auto brakes I'm gonna put it to wait where's rto oh that's rto no that's rto okay uh we got cabin let's check the cabin here that that doesn't even work wait, what uh, all right so we're here we gotta slow her down we're on idle thrust Okay, so that did work, but it didn't move or it didn't make a sound. I'm going to go take off config test. There we go. Wait, what? Pitch trim, MCDU, CG, disagree. I have no clue. I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen. Because we don't have the performance numbers. Flaps 90. Line up with weight runway 25 right, Singapore 957. Alright, Captain Crew, please be seated for departure. 
Let's go. Landing lights coming on. Nose lights to take off. Uh, strobes coming on as well. Here we go, guys. Get your togas in the chat. Alright, so he's gone. He's gone. Uh, I'm looking at this. I forgot the APU here, so we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. APU bleed's coming off. We are ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. What a waste is on. Yeah, except except the trim thing, which I'm gonna have to figure out on the fly. We're just waiting here, holding short. I have my brakes, my feet on the brakes. Uh, let me hold on. Okay. That's that's very that's that's not helpful at all. We're taking three eight zero for today. Wait, are we disconnected from Watson? I think I think we are. No, actually we're not. Maybe it's like low visibility, so we're getting like that late takeoff clearance. Who knows? Well, the fog, man. It's it's two and uh, two and a half miles of visibility. That's it. That's that's what it is. So. Yeah, hopefully we don't cook. We're in an unknown area. I should better have terrain. What the heck? Okay, shouldn't be doing that. Pretty sure that's cleared off all the obst obstacles. Uh, are we still connected? Careful take off runway 25 right, Singapore 957. Uh, yo, let's go! Toga's in the chat if you haven't already! Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Right, here we go. That's that's a that's a much better sound than the A330. That's my second thing that I have to say here. That's a much better sound. All right, 120 here, almost coming up on V1. That was an insane acceleration. Rotate. And wait, what the hell? <laughs> Positive rate, gear up. What's up with the speed here? All right, so that's the flight director's commanding. 22 degrees of pitch up. I have no clue why. All right, leeward to climb. All right, here we go. We're climb thrust. All right, we're we're dropping out of this. Jeez. Okay, so yeah, it, it's it's not perfect, but so far, I would say it's a 50/50. This aircraft, definitely. Uh, let's bring that up, and we're gonna be starting our right turn in a second here. Uh, let's do a little flyby before we get that right turn. Yeah, the plane does look good from the outside. Alright, making that right turn, pitching down a little more, a little aggressive on the right turn here. Just following the flight directors because we're in the blind, ladies and gentlemen. We're still in the blind. Chief Senpai, welcome to the stream, good to see you. Absolutely, man, thank you so much for stopping by. And, yeah, man, have a good flight. I'm sorry about that. I'm sli I'm slightly distracted by flying, which I mean I shouldn't be distracted. I should be distracted while reading the chat and not flying. All right, flaps coming up here. Jeez, pitching up here. We busted the two five zero knots. That's fine as long as I'm hand flying it. Mr. Fire is good to see you, my man. How you doing? Welcome aboard and welcome to this A340. <laughs> welcome to this, I think one of the best airlines in the world. I, I'm liking this plane, the way it's behaving or the clouds we go. So here's the views. Have some ortho going on down here. So apparently now the visibility is fine. I don't know why. 
but yeah, let's do a little flyby now. Yeah, that that does look badass. That does look badass for sure. Those four engines coming your way. All right, let's do this uh, speed brakes disarmed. And I'm gonna go ahead and set up the autopilot one here. All right, that's looking good. What does this mean? Outer TK transfer, outer tank transfer in progress. Everything's looking good. So it's, it's in green, so we have nothing to worry about. That's another thing about Airbus. The color coding. Bang on. Bang on. on color Flaps are up. Uh, what, what else? What else? We're passing 10,000 already. This thing climbs like a rocket, guys. Jeez. Let's put the strobes back to auto. Any lights coming on. Beacon will stay on. Uh, seat belt. Uh, no smoking can remain on. This is a no smoking flight. When we're on the quon card, that's another thing. Mr. T Mac, welcome to the stream. Good to see you as well. Dropping in with the light, watching the Blue Experience, man. Yeah, man, definitely. I I, wa I usually watch Blue Experience on my Wednesday drives. I, I go jam with my band, so I usually save it for every Wednesday. So this ter every Thursday's podcast is my Wednesday jam with the band and on the drive as well. All right, so uh, controls cam coming off. Let's bring that music going. I just changed the color of the clouds. They, now they look much whiter and I think for me they look slightly better here. And that's without reshade, that's with reshade. Just, just, just the immense difference in the quality of the picture with reshade is, is just insane. Apparently the ortho ends here. Uh, or maybe it's just different tiles of ortho, different data. That's why they look different. I don't think it ends here because I did not. I did try to get the entire coast, so I don't see that as a problem. That's probably just a different tile or or outdated data, or either that is outdated data. We don't know about that. Oh wait, what happened? What what problems are they having? You know what? I want to actually make them look slightly more wider. Let me see if I can do that and tell you guys what I did. Um. Wait, I'm just quickly going to check my smart cars. Okay, so that it is tracking the flight. Uh, let's see. X-Plane. Resources. Plugins. Enhanced Skyscape settings. And going to set that to 0 0.3 is what someone told me to. I said the sun gain. Uh, Enhanced Skyscape reload settings. Uh, okay, that's a little too white. Let me find a middle ground. It's my personal preference. So sun gain to 0 0.2 and clouds ambient gain to 0 0.8. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I like that. That's the one I like. What do you guys think? I just, I, I could have. Yep, I am. And, and the interesting part is that usually when we disconnect, it, it does tell me up here on the top the message comes out that you're disconnected but it's it's not showing up anything I don't know why uh, it, I don't know if it's because something's off something's really off for sure either X pilot is off I got I mean I don't I didn't see an update to X pilot so that's another thing um, or we might have what 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 else is off is probably Ratson there's definitely something going on here Maybe Discord. Okay. Oh, okay. Discord's messing up again. Maybe the internet's down for everyone. I, I'm just, I'm just glad that this stream's running fine. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are wondering what this T-shirt is, it's, it's, a, it's my old band. Uh, a friend painted it for me. Uh, it's obviously, I don't know how easy for you it is to see, but it says "Unholy Grudge." Uh, that that used to be the name of my band. We have three songs on YouTube. If you want to check it out, go check it out. It's it's thrash metal, dead thrash metal. So if, if you kind of like that kind of music, go check us out. Uh, it's it's the old band. I'm jamming with the new band now. Where I think we're we're discussing. You know, let me ask you this. We're we're thinking about two names for the band. One's called Fatal Abyss, and the other one's called uh, Final Summons or Final Summon. I think singular. I don't know singular or plural. But that's what we're thinking. What do you guys think? Fatal Abyss or Final Summon? Let's hear the like. We in the band like obviously are the only ones that are discussing that. It would be it would be uh, good to 
have you guys' opinion as to as as a as a public and you know as a general people, what do you prefer? T Max says final summons or final summon, whatever that's going to be singular or plural. Okay. Hey, uh, Aviator JT says I need help. Bad DM. All right, let me check my DM here then. What is it? Did someone tagged me somewhere. Real hack says Fatal Abyss. I think we can we can bring up the sound here. Actually, I think it is. Let me go ahead and check XP Realistic. It might have all the sounds up. Wind. Now that's the airframe wind. Uh, windshield wind is the one. Okay, so that's way too high. That's why we have like a lot of stuff here. Touchdown. Yeah, that's that's gonna. This is gonna make your butter look like a Ryanair landing. So use in moderation. I feel like something around 28, 29, 25 is it feels okay. I did get disconnected and I got the message. I maybe I didn't see it all this while. I'm connecting back. Um, let's see. I think I, that's that's all I'm gonna care for right now. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine, man. I, I've been trying to pick days where there's not a lot of people streaming. But it's, it's it's just saturated now, guys. It's like you you can't find a day where no one's no one's streaming, you know. Uh, give me one second here. I'm trying to get that failure. No, down volume and external engine. I think that's better. What do you guys think? Oh, disconnected again. Jeez. Uh, let me check the this one again. FMS for jar design interesting question. Let me let me check that. Let me check that buddy So many people out there. Yeah, man, so many people that is true Everyone's getting into it and it's good. It's good. You know, we're gonna get You know a couple a couple years down the line. We're gonna have some real good Streamers that are coming up right now. I hope to be one of them <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check that uh, Uh, FMS I just I just don't want this to crash that's all so hopefully by trying to help my man aviator JT here I don't crash the sim or something that's that's the biggest biggest trouble that I think it is uh, you got uh, my man aviator JT if you're still on the stream oh wait I didn't go to Unicom I gotta go to Unicom. Give me one second. I'm juggling a lot of things here. One, one, two, two, decimal, eight. All right, we're back on Unicom here. Right, so that gives me a little bit of peace of mind. Give you a little bit of flyby. Look at those. Look at those contrails. We finally have the white contrails back. That is insane, guys. That is insane. We got white contrails. Okay. Yeah, we got we got white contrails. Slight, still slightly gray compared to the clouds, but but for all purposes, it is it is white. Uh, all right. So let me check. Uh, so my man, uh, Aviator JT, you gotta install the one that says Explain GNS 430. That's the one you want. GNS 430 is the one that you. Again, let me check if it does say for jar design or not. I can't even see what the full name of that is. Let me see if I can read it. Uh, jar design A320 and A330. That's the GNS 430 data that you need to install for your for your aircraft, my man. You're still here. Disconnected from the network again. It does look good from the outside. I don't know if the engine textures. If it's delivery or not, if delivery takes care of that, because that one looks too gray compared to that white. I would, if I, if I were the actual Singapore Airlines, and if this is how Singapore Airlines is, I would probably prefer the fuselage and the engine colors to be the same. Unless you're doing something like a Delta, where you have uh, blue engines, like that is fine. But white and a gray, I don't know. 
I don't know. But guys, I'm gonna say this again. With this flight, I am putting into jeopardy my, uh, what do you call it? My landing streak. My landing streak is, is under threat. My butter streak. We got four in a row. We got five out of six. I want to make it five in a row, but I don't know, guys. You know what? Let's let's put a little poll in there. Let me do this. Let's put a little poll in there. Let's do this. See how much confidence you guys have in me. Do we even have any votes? No one's voting or I'm not getting it. We got we got some yeses going on with two votes. Very interesting. You guys can say no by the way. Uh, I can't I can't really tell who voted what so be be honest with that you can change your votes too I don't know if YouTube allows that but you can't change your votes if you think we're gonna end the streak today <laughs> so it's gonna be a lot of fun man I, I would be damned and I'll be like why did I choose this plane but let's let's hope it's for the best got confidence in you the jar not so much and <laughs> you're probably right my man you're probably right we got three votes three people say yes jeez after the last six landings, you guys, you guys put a lot of trust in me, I, and I hope to repay that for you guys. Are coming over? What what country are we coming over? And how much of the flight do we have remaining? I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, oh, we completely didn't do that. And let me check our lights here. Yeah, lights are good. Altimeter is the only thing. I'm looking at flight plan. There's still 422 nautical miles to go, which is estimated fuel is going to be almost 9.6 tons. We're going to just burn half of what we took. I don't believe that for some reason. Um, well, let's see. All right, so that's 420. It says 436 on the UTC. What's the current UTC we are flying at? Okay, so 335 UCC and we're looking at 436. We got an hour to go. The four engine Airbus. One day, one day we, we will fly the A380, man. I'm telling you, the day it comes out, that's going to be a day one buy. Mr. Michael, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing, man? Good to see you. Welcome aboard. But yeah, A380 is going to be a first day buy, my man. Like, there's no question about it. Like, that's that's my favorite plane. That's the first long haul I ever flew, and that was it was not the aircraft that got me into it, but that was the aircraft that got me into thinking. And I didn't pay attention to it, right? So that was the aircraft that got me into thinking, like, how does this thing work? Um, that was my the first time I had a question on the A380. Um, the next time I flew was on the 787, the Dreamliner, and that's when I figured out that uh, I gotta figure out what's going on here. How is this thing in the air? I had to figure it out, and here we are into flight sims, trying to figure out every single airplane. <laughs> So if not for the A380, it wouldn't be here today streaming this aircraft. I would probably still be playing FIFA and GTA and whatnot. Yeah, that's the route, man. That's the route that we're flying. I'm just gonna quickly erase that so we can see some waypoints coming in. Uh, well guys, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and the subscribe button. 
absolutely appreciate that support we're we're coming up on 750 faster than we expected right we're gonna get our hands on those giveaways for that stream and every 250 subscribers we do a giveaway multiple giveaways not one giveaway we do multiple giveaways so we did one at 250 we did one at five 500 and now the next one's on 750 and then the thousand one that's it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy we're getting there sooner than we expect to get there so i am i'm really excited about it now obviously this is default scenery down there that you're seeing and we got disconnected from network as well watson is not in its senses today thank god it's like it's not an event or something. Ed, my man, good to see you. I'm flying the Airbus again. Edward is a big Airbus guy. Edward's, Edward, I think. He has the 767 and 757, uh, I think. One of those aircrafts, and obviously he has the Zebra, but it never flies those. It just flies the Tolis. Michael says, is this Freeware? No, man, this is not Freeware. This is a Payware aircraft. I don't know if there's a 8340 Freeware, but if you want a Freeware, you obviously should I should be familiar with the Zebo 737 the, uh, the other freeware we have is the M, M Sparks or MS Sparks what however you want to put it uh, that's a 747 from them um, those two are the best freeware aircrafts here on X-Plane if we're talking about airliners if we're talking about other aircrafts like GA and stuff I don't I don't really have a lot of clue about those and I might be missing some other aircraft which is free but yeah, those are the only two good freeware aircrafts when it comes to airliners. John says, got a first class flight in the 757. Wow, man. What airline? That's pretty cool. No worries, Michael. No worries. Tobogo says, I'm still on the hunt for a good airline there that's worth it. Man, what's your budget? If you can tell me your budget in, in dollars, I, I, I'll give you. I mean... Tolis is definitely a no-brainer, in my opinion. I don't know how many people agree to it, but Tolis is absolutely awesome. There's a free variant 340 by M Goge. It's garbage. Okay, oh, it's got like four variants. Jeez. Delta Atlanta to Costa Rica. Wow. I didn't know Delta still flew those as passenger aircrafts. Tolis is coming out with the A340-600, man. That. That aircraft is going to be a genius, genius aircraft, man. I, I can't wait to see what a new aircraft from Tolis is. With the A319, A321, they have, like, set the bar very high. Uh, how much are the airliners for around IDK 200? How much are airplanes normally? Uh, if we're talking about US dollars, I would say you're looking at anywhere from $45 to $100. That's, that's what you're looking at, depending on the aircraft you want. And the variants and things like that, forty-five to a hundred dollars. Um, those are good aircrafts. You may be able to find some twenty, twenty-five dollar aircrafts or fifteen dollar aircrafts, but those are I, I wouldn't recommend flying those. I definitely wouldn't recommend flying those. Narrow body with a left turn to first class. Nice man, nice. Tolis is coming out on October 25th, Edward. October 25th is when they're coming out. So we got we got about 25 days to go. We're on, we're on the last day of September today. And guys, by the way, if you haven't already, make sure to join the Discord to hang out with us. Our screenshot competition and our landing rate competition ends tonight, 12 p.m. Pacific time. So make sure you get your entries in if you haven't already. Um, yeah, let's do this. Brandon Railfan, good to see you, my man. Welcome aboard. What's going on, man? Tobogo says money isn't a problem when it's good aircraft. That's worth it. I think I think if you want a good aircraft, relatively bug-free, uh, doesn't have the best textures, but I would say if you're buying an aircraft, go for the Tolis, man. Go for the Tolis A319 or the A321 and get the Neo as well. If money isn't the concern. It's, I think, $79 USD. Go for the Tolis. 
Uh, the other recommendation I can say is I, uh, Flight Factor 7.5 and 7.6. Those are good as well. I have never flown the A320 by Flight Factor, so I can't say. But that aircraft is a little bit heavy on the frame. So again, depends on your hardware if you want to get that. Otherwise, I've heard that's a very good aircraft as well. Um, I like any builds as well, but I don't know, man. I mean, they're good. They're great aircrafts. But those don't have uh, failures and things like that. So... Uh, I don't know if they added it. I think the 310 does have failures. Uh, yes, Tolis is amazing. Tolis is absolutely amazing. Get the 319, 321. That thing hand flies like a champ. It feels like, and this is not from me, but it's like from the actual pilot that their fly-by-wire, the hand flying system, actually flies like how it works in the real aircraft. And yeah, see, Drew says Tolis will be his first purchase. If he ever moves to explain, that is. A310 is definitely good and A300 is good as well. Uh, the good part about A310 and A300 is that 400 bucks you get like airliner and you get, uh, sorry, you get the passenger aircraft and you get the uh, cargo aircraft. Um, but the same thing with Flight Factor, I think it's $92 and on sale it's even cheaper. $92, you get the 757-200, you get the 757-300, you get the 757-200 cargo. Uh, you get the 757, uh, the the uh, the Vice President's aircraft, the Air Force Two. You get that aircraft as well with that cabin layout. So that's a lot of planes for $92. So value for money, I would say go with the 757. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Discord. Always happy to help each one of you guys. No worries about that I, ever. You have the RW Design A330. How is that one though? Michael says also any recommendation for a yoke? Uh, do you want to get a yoke or do you want to get a joystick? Because if you want to get a yoke, I would say go for it. I'll actually show you. Give me one second. I'll, I'll bring up the yoke for you. Give me one second. I'll show you. Or alternatively, I do have a review for the yoke for the Honeycomb Alpha Yoke and the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant on my channel. You can check that out as well, but I'll just show you. Give me one second. Alright, so if you can see here, this is, okay, let me put it towards the camera. So this is the yoke, absolutely in love with this, best value for money. Um, there are cheaper options, so this one costs, I think now they raised the price to like 280 bucks or something. So this one costs about 280 bucks, uh, or dollars, let me put it that way because I know most, a lot of you are not from the United States. So 280 dollars is what this is. Um, it's the best thing I've flown for the money. There are a couple cheaper ones. There's Turtle Beach coming out. None of them get even close to that. The only good quality yoke that does come and probably beats this one is the Yoko. Uh, I forgot the company, but the Yoko the Yoke. If Y O K O Yoko the Yoke. Um, that one is a thousand dollars. So that's the difference. This is good, good, good quality stuff. Um, this right here is the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant, don't, don't, this is a separate thing, this is the radio panel, but this is the Throttle Quadrant, this one's got gear lever, this one's got flaps, everything, everything you want, you got four, four different axes for the engines, if you look at that, uh, and we got switches here, you got the autopilot panel here, so this is also a worthy investment, and this one also costs the same as the yoke. So if you're trying to spend under a thousand dollars, I would say go for this, go for this. Uh, if you want a joystick for flying Airbus and stuff, I would recommend this. I, had, I have used cheaper joysticks before, but this is absolutely different. And there will be more expensive joysticks which are metal. This is obviously plastic, so you can't, I mean, yeah, but for what it is, it's, it's a real good joystick. Uh, the TC, Airbus TCA from Thrustmaster. The side stick he i would recommend this uh, for the rudder pedals that's another story i'm using the thrustmaster tfrp rudder pedals um i would recommend if you have the money go for the honeycomb ones that are coming out honeycomb charlie and those guys are getting everything on point 
I, I can't believe how many good products. I, I got to try the, the Charlie Rudder pedals from Honeycomb, and those were absolutely awesome as well. So, uh, for the money, right? The Thrustmaster TPR Rudder pedals cost $600, and they are definitely better than the Honeycomb Charlie, which is about $300. But for half the price, it's, it's a real good deal. Um, so definitely recommend Honeycomb. Or if you want to go cheaper, you could go like me uh, and go with the Thrustmaster TFRP rudder pedals. Now, if you need links of any of those, hit me up on Discord and I'll send it to you as soon as I can. Absolutely, guys. Uh, let me put this back. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the controls cam here. Um, but yeah, feel free to ask any questions. Uh, and I will get back to the chat in a bit. Give me one second. I'll put this back. And obviously right now I don't have the yoke connected because I'm flying an Airbus. That's another thing. Let me look at the chat here. Uh, let's see. Did you try any of the new yoke joysticks? I, I tried them all. I, I don't. I, the Honeycomb Alpha V2 wasn't there. So I couldn't try that. I tried the Charlie Rotor pedals. I tried the... The Thrustmaster Boeing Yoke and Throttle. Um, I tried the Turtle Beat stuff. And what else? I tried the Thrustmaster TPR, the $600 worth rudder pedals. Those were insane, I have to say that. If you have the money, go for those, man. Those are so, so, so freaking realistic. Absolutely. Huh. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and the subscribe button. Coming up on 13 likes here. Let's get that number going up. Really helps the channel out. Um, yeah, that's, that's all it is. Uh, Flying Scotsman is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the stream, Flying Scotsman, man. Good to see you as always. Huh. Michael says, no worries, man, Michael. Always happy to help, guys. Any of you guys, feel free to reach out to me. Put it on the Discord. If I'm not there to help at that moment, you will get responses from everyone else, someone else in the community that we have on the Discord. So absolutely feel free to join the Discord as well. You can fly the Airbus with a yoke, but man, I, I really wouldn't want to do it. I've tried it once just because I hadn't connected my joystick and I was like, ah, yeah, let me try this. Man, it, it just doesn't feel natural. I have to say that. It, it doesn't feel natural but yeah if you're short on money and you you gotta decide between one of the two then i would say go for the yoke pay a little bit more money go for the yoke joystick is fine as edward says you can't there's there's no rule stating you can't fly an airbus inside the sim with a yoke right i'm offline again jeez Brandon says, back to what I was saying, the RW330 is all right, not... To oh, man, Tolis is, like, on another level, man. I would be surprised if I think that RW330 is, like, $30. So... And great to see you, man. It's, 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 it's so much fun to have all you guys here chatting, you know, bringing up new discussions. You know, that's, that's, what, that's one of the reasons why I stream, you know? A lot of you guys I actually got to meet at the expo as well. It was just, it was just fun. Yeah, Michael, he was, uh, he was talking about uh, Latsim. That's what he was talking about. No, 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 no frame rate issues at all. Let me show you how many frames I'm getting here. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Where is that data output? We're looking at 60 frames right now with all those clouds and everything. I'm getting disconnected from Watson because apparently there's some issue with the Watson servers. That's that's what it is. That's what it is. Watson servers are down. All right, let me quickly check up here and I'll get rid of that frame rate thing. I don't like it. Uh, looking at 300 nautical miles, 437. What what are we doing here? I have no clue what's happening here. Well, let me check if it does show our top of descent. Yeah, it does show on top of the sensor. We're good. We're good. I have a 3070. Yeah, I have a 3070 as well. I got the EVGA uh, for the for the Win 3. 3070 for the Win 3. I just got it the start of this month. It's about to turn a month old this uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow it's going to be a month old. I got it exactly on September 1. Yeah, man. 
super happy for now I, I don't know if it's if it's sagging a little but maybe i'll just get like uh what do you call it i'll just get uh a gpu bracket like just to just to hold it up a little that's what it is but i absolutely love it the rail says i own the a330 as well from rw designs i believe and it's an okay aircraft but the gear gear tilt is unrealistic and doesn't work well with sim hardware oh boy damn man at least you know that's that's what i say right there are many worse aircrafts in the in the in the scene um shouldn't always take look this this aircraft has been working perfectly except a few kinks here and there this has been working amazing i have to say it's a i mean obviously i will know when i hand fly it and i'll know what's happening i think we're turning hopefully i didn't jinx it yeah we're turning <laughs> that's what it is now we're turning right I'm gonna get rid of that here and give me give me about two or three minutes guys I will be right back and get back with you I need to take a hydrating break here so I'll be right back I mean although the timer shows five minutes I'll definitely be taking less than five minutes and if you haven't already make sure to vote about our butter streak uh, see you in five All right, we're back. Here, uh, something's off. Give me one second here. Here we go. Looking good. Will we maintain our water shriek? Let's see what you guys have to say. We got we got 13 votes 85% of you say we will and 15% say no those are the ones that probably don't believe in the in the in the aircraft I believe well, let me see let me see what else uh, did I miss anything in the chat mm, is there a plugin or something that use that you're using to make your camera movement so smooth in the cockpit yes sir 
for, there's there's two things happening here. It's obviously the good frame rates, which if you you have a 3070, so you should have no problem achieving that. And the thing that I'm using is called X Camera. This this is the one that does everything for us. See, those are the ones that decide how those movements are. You can add the effects. You can also do this interesting thing. Let me see. Let me see if I can do it on the fly here. Create an orbit. Uh, orbit, and let's see. Yeah, we we want a positive height, so zero is the actually we can go lower. Ten meters here, ten meters. Let's actually put it to like thirty meters and continuous. Let's create that, and let's see. Show advance, allow camera auto advance. Oh, that's way too fast. Uh, let me delete that. All right, orbit. We gotta go to like 60 seconds maybe. Uh, let's see how that works. Okay, this is still fair, fairly close. This, this is one thing, it doesn't let you edit that. That's a problem. I'm gonna go there. We're gonna go 250 on the seconds and then radius can be like say 120 meters and max height and go to like 25 meters. Actually, you know what? This plane is huge, so we gotta have those bigger numbers. Let's see how this one works. Yeah, I like this. Save all cameras. Get out of there. And now we have an orbit. That was it for us. That's X camera. And I think there's a you can do a lot more with this. What you can do is I I haven't I haven't done it and it's a little time consuming before the stream, just like how it's automatically rotating. I could I could set up like a bunch of views into a category and it would just automatically switch the view so it would be in the cockpit for a bit it would be then like maybe after 10 or 20 seconds it would automatically go to like your left window go to the right window you name it and it will do it so that's that's something that i want to do but that might take a little bit of time how much is it um it is it is 15 dollars as far as i can remember it is 15 dollars they also gave away a couple copies of this software on on our previous giveaways um, DC Aviator says, how's the fly going? Man, I, you know what? I liked History Gamer or something on those lines better, man. I, I feel like I'm talking to a different person when I say you and you say DC Aviator. This is my personal opinion. The Real Hack says, oh, by the way, the fly's going good so far, man. Without, without a, I forgot the word. Without a problem. The Real Hack says, have you ever heard of ASSP? Yeah, I heard of it. I mean, I, I know there's like another A300 and I think they also have a A310. I haven't tried it out. I haven't tried to see what it is. But yeah. Man, there's a lot of things that is freeware. Um, it is obviously Avitab, Xpilot, you got better pushback. Obviously you got the fly with Lua. Uh, what else? XPIPC. There's WebFMC as well, which we are not able to use today because it's not supported by this aircraft. Without a hitch. That's the word I was looking at. I was, I was going to say hint and I'm like, nah, that's, that's not the right word. Without a hitch. Drew Stone to the rescue as always. Uh, yeah, man. Good things are payware, but there are a lot of good things that are freeware as well. So these clouds you see, by the way, you can, there's a freeware version of these clouds called Enhanced Cloudscapes. You can go for those. You can try those. And you have a 3070, so you don't have anything to worry about the frame rates and things like that. Um, what does Xpilot do? Xpilot connects us to Watson. That's what it does. G Watson is a, I don't know if you know Watson, but Watson is basically an online online traffic network where you have live ATCs and you can fly with each other. And, but you gotta know the ATC rules and all things like that. You gotta learn for it, but that's that's what it is. That's what it is. The Xpilot helps you connect to Watson. There's, there's multiple softwares that can allow you to do that, but Watson is another game. It just takes your realism to like a completely different level. 
Doom is in the house. How are you doing, man? Good to see you. What's your favorite airline? Airline. My favorite airline. I would. I would have to say. All over the world, I would say Emirates. If you're talking about U.S. airline, then I think I have to go with Delta. I don't know. Delta. That's the first one that comes to my mind. Um. Maybe I haven't been on a JetBlue yet, but I I would love to say JetBlue as well if I ever ever get a chance to be on that. I will, I will redo my review of the airlines and let you know then. But I think JetBlue is a good contender. I think even Alaska is Alaska is great. American Airlines good as well. So yeah, there's there's pretty good airlines here. Emirates, yeah man. Emirates is like. Yeah, I've been on the A380s and man, can't ask for anything better. Guys. Can't ask for anything better. This, their service, their everything is like professionalism. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. DC Aviator says JetBlue is the best, man. Yeah, someday, someday when I get to be on it, I will say. Is it? I haven't been on a JetBlue yet. I haven't even been on Spirit or Southwest. I'm gonna try Sun Country this this Thanksgiving. I'm going to Minneapolis uh, to visit my uncle. I'm going to Minneapolis. I'm taking the Sun Country Airlines. I was gonna take Delta, but Delta was like super expensive for the Thanksgiving weekend. I'm taking the Sun Country. Have to see how that one is. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. Um. Major, that's still looking good. We're looking at 204 nautical miles coming up on top, top of descent, which is in about 80 nautical miles. So we've got to be paying attention there. DC, you're not missing out on Spirit, man. The only thing I like about Spirit is their livery. Man, I love the yellow taxi. It looks good. It's catchy on the eyes. I like the, their font as well on the on the livery. It's good. They, they, they put a bit of work on the livery. Um, not so much on the other aspects. What will be your favorite plane model? And has there's there's no question about what I love. My number one aircraft is the 737. Man. 737-800 to be precise. Um, Sometimes I do get confused between the 7.3 and the 7.7. Um, and so those are my first top two. And then comes the A319 and the A321, 3 and 4. Um, yeah. Or, or pretty much you can put like the entire A320 family on the on the third spot. And I don't know about after that. I've heard Sun Country is pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's not a very well-known airline or not, not a popular airline. So I, I would assume that is so. Um, Real Hack says it's ultra low cost, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, true that, man. True that. Drew says JetBlue just started. Yeah, man. That is that is really cool. I, I think they're going to do it on the A2, A220s as well, right? If, I'm not, if I haven't gotten it incorrect. I think they're gonna do it on the AT two twenties as well, not the three twenties, but the two twenties. They, I think they do it on the A three twenty one Neos. Uh, Edward says Airbus greater than Boeing. Eh, my my opinion, right? I don't want to get into a debate here, but my opinion is that if you want a peace of mind and if you want the aircraft to do everything for you, go for Airbus, man. It's quality of life aircraft. You know that little tray to eat your food because your side stick on on the side um, I agree with those things a lot of things I love about Airbus but the thing I like and that's why the Boeing 737 not the 777 is my favorite aircraft is that it's more hands-on man it's more hands-on it's, it's old school not too old school oh and how can I forget the Concorde we gotta do a Concorde stream next month no, not October November because oh by the way while we are at it I'm planning a very special flight on Sunday if I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna run a couple tests if everything works out we're gonna have a very very special flight on Sunday uh, it will be 8 8 a.m. PST or PDT whatever we are in right now 8 a.m. Pacific 
Um, and that's gonna be a special flight. And a little, yeah, let, let me not give up any hints or anything. Once once it works, that's when I'll reveal it to you guys on Discord, to what we're doing. JetBlue Mint do, looks dope, yeah, I agree with that. Doom, they're using A324 7 hour flight? They're using the A321 Neo as far as I know. A321 Neo is what they're using for that flight. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, uh, yeah, there he is. The real hacks A321 long range LR. In a standard mode, you can't stall the Airbus. That is true. That is true. That is absolutely true. I agree with it. That's that's what I said, right? Quality of life, Airbus, without a question, man. without a question. There's no debate in that. But if you if you want to feel more like you're flying an aircraft doing more stuff inside the cockpit then go for Boeing that's that's my personal take and I like flying it because I like my yoke better than the side stick <coughs> excuse me so I like doing that so yeah definitely Boeing the, the yoke flying is aircraft flying is what I feel imagine if Jet, JetBlue moved to A330 yeah man I, I don't think they'll do it I don't think they'll do it I would be surprised if they do it John says, what runway are we taking? That's a good question, my man. We're coming up on top of the sand here. So I'm going to stay inside the cockpit here. Let's bring this up to 80 miles. We are looking at about 40 miles to the top of the sand. Let's get rid of these tablets here. Uh, sorry, not the tablet, but we're going to go Singapore. And let me do this real quick as well. Exclamation point METAR test. Get, uh, get ourselves the METAR as well. Uh, and let's go into the charts. get our airport diagram here and let's see nightbot is right here 170 at 8 knots so we are definitely gonna take the two zeros two zero right or left let's take two zero right closer to the terminal I don't want to waste time taxi these are oh, we could take two zero center as well these are huge runways so I'm gonna float float it out try to save our butter streak I'm gonna float I'm gonna try to float it out uh, and elevation is just 13 so that's that's huge runways right there and this one has a displaced threshold as well which I would prefer coming down this one has a displaced threshold so I will will save us a little bit on our float as well help us touch down sooner so I, I think we should take two zero right John what do you think Doom says my dream would be to fly the 747 once I'm older, man. That would be true, but you got you gotta get older sooner, man. <laughs> the 747s are going out out of the scenes, except if you're flying a cargo airline. That's a different thing, man. But you gotta grow up fast, man. How old are you? If you don't mind me asking. Butter shouldn't count if you're not in the touchdown. Man, we're we're going to be in the touchdown zone. Don't worry about that. I'm not gonna float like halfway down the runway. That's 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 something I've never done. If we're out of the touchdown zone, I'm, I'm going to doing a go around there. No question about that. Approach. So two zero right is what I said. Okay. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, let's do it. I got I got the scenery for those as well. So yeah, two zero right. Let's do it. Two zero right. Uh, and for the approach, I'm gonna. Sorry for the arrival. Whatever was our plan stuff. Top of descent's coming up here. Uh, let me see here. What? Else? Yeah, two zero right is what we have planned anyway. Uh, so let's put this again. The turn. Do we still have our stuff? Okay, so we do have two zero right. Our arrival is set. B pop. But that's perfect. That's what we're gonna do. Hopefully, the visibility is not too bad. Uh. I have the freeware, freeware scenery from the org, explain org. Um, that's the one I'm using. I don't know who owns it or anything. I just got it yesterday. Dave, my man, good to see you. Boogie, my man, boogie. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Good to see you as always. Doom says I'm 15, so I think the chances would be cargo. Yeah, man. So you're not too far away. You're not too far, but far away. You can get your private pilots. You're in the United States. I think you can get it at 16. 
And then you can just go from there, man. Shoot high, aim high. Absolutely. All right, so coming up on top of descent here, we're gonna put ourselves down. Constraints are on. Two, two, zero knots right there. Doesn't say the altitude, so we're gonna take a look at the star that we filed. Uh, where is my flight plan? Let me check. Ripov 1 Alpha is our star. So let's go all the way down. Ripov 1 Alpha. I believe this is the one for 2 right? Or is it the Bravo? I'm not really sure. <laughs> People are gonna start talking. Uh, it's, it's crazy. Like, we, we follow so many streamers. We end up, like, meeting each other multiple times a day. Most times. So this one's at zero two. No, we're not going for zero twos, are we? So maybe it's the Bravos. All right, top of descent. Here we go. Let me bring her down. Let's bring it there. Let's start the climb at least. Get the VNAV going. Oh jeez, that was a big down. And ladies and gentlemen, we have started our descent into Singapore. If you haven't already, make sure to have your seatbelts fastened and tray tables stowed. We'll be down in about less than 30 minutes, less than 20 minutes to be precise. And hope you had a great flight and we'll see you down on the ground. And don't forget to hit that like and the subscribe button. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. We pulled one Bravo. That's the one we're taking. That's the one we're taking. So. Here we are coming up at Repulve. Gotta be at flat level 210. Uh, gotta try. I don't think we're gonna make that restriction. We're gonna be below that. Oh, let me put my headset back on. In case we have ATC or anything come up. I'm gonna be scrambling for it. Is it Manila? I have a uh, Warbeck Singapore. Man, I have no clue. We're on X-Plane, by the way, so I don't know if you're talking about X-Plane or Microsoft. That's the first thing. Edward says I posted it in Discord as I am not sure about the rules of sending links in chat. Yeah, you you aren't you aren't able to put it. Uh, even if you try to put it, uh, you won't be able to put it. That's that's how it is. And the jar, please don't say on the ground. <laughs> on the, at the airport. Let's say it better. At the airport is where I'll see you guys. I don't know what's up with that. The the contrails are starting. They should be somewhere around here where they start forming. We're, we're seeing it in front of the engine. That's the same thing that happens with the A330 as well. So, yeah, it is what it is. We got the votes coming in. We got 18 votes on this. 78% of you say we're going to maintain the streak. 18%. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. All right. So, that's what what is what is going on here? That's that's weird. Quickly check what runway we have again. Two zero right is what we have selected. So two zero is about. So one eight zero is south. And we're going north so yeah that looks right I don't know what that is I have no clue Samco is what it says there is uh, let me check on here yeah that's I don't know what that is okay that's our missed approach if you look closer it's showing blue that's right my bad all right so we're coming out red ramp over still 30,000 feet here let's let's give it some speed brakes here and help us go down faster alright guys moment of truth in a bit let's see if we make that restriction I Ah, we're not gonna make that restriction. Let's continue that descent down to the next one that we have here. Can 
Can I like switch tabs? No, I can't. So 250 knots is what we need to be at. We are at 250, so that is that is good. Um, 220 at rims and no altitude requirement there, all right? Singapore scenery is loading in. Uh, we don't have the one of the libraries. I'm not able to get that going, so. Yeah, but we'll still look fine. Hopefully the visibility is good and we can see that's why we have the night bot right there. Where's the METAR? It says visibility is... It doesn't say anything about visibility. It's very interesting. Oh, visibility is 10, not, uh, 10 miles. Uh, 9999 is what it says. Uh, 130 variable 200. So we're gonna have like slight crosswinds to full headwinds. That's what we're gonna be looking at uh, coming down here. So at bottom, we're gonna have a 7,000 or above restriction. Gonna continue that descent. Repo, I think we made, no, we didn't, or 27. Uh, let's bring that down all the way to 7,000. I think this is not helping. The speed brake is not helping. You see, we're just using extra thrust. Should have put it in the McDo. Right there. Mr. Martini! Welcome to the stream, welcome aboard. Hello from Atlanta, man. Hello from Los Angeles, California, my man. Welcome, good to see you, man. I know you're you're from XP Stream. I've seen you there, my man. Good to see you on board this flight. 957 on the A340, which has been doing absolutely great so far We're coming up on the descent makes me think makes me think this plane is not bad after all doing doing absolutely it's doing things that it's supposed to do and not doing things that it's not supposed to do so I'm happy uh, yeah obviously the quality is not up to the tallest mark but at least so far it's not doing things it's not supposed to do and that's that's what matters to me I mean I might as I might have a few more aircrafts that are not like Tolis level or the Zebo level, whatever you want to call it, but still work fine out of the box, I would take it. Absolutely take it. Chief says, sorry I had to vote no for the landing. <laughs> because of the Airbus. No agrees because of the Airbus. Very interesting. I'm gonna try though. I'm gonna try my best. And jar <laughs> says Drew Stone77. Oh boy, we have like 74 to 26 now. 19 votes in there. If you haven't already, put that, put those votes in. So let's get up to 20 likes. We're coming up at 19 right now. Notorious to be hard to land. You guys are making me more nervous than I should be. All right, this is, wait, this, this, this aircraft gotta go down. Like go down in this level. We're coming up on. 220 let's bring that speed down here to 220 knots use some speed brakes to slow her down and let's see we're still on Watson and we are on the other come one to two decimal eight we're gonna go downwind and then follow back for the ILS we should have our frequencies if not already we gotta do our perf here I uh, didn't put the cost index very interesting uh, so the Q&H was let's see uh 1010 so let's put that in real quick keep that plane coming down keep that plane coming down we're gonna go all the way to 9000 here to keep that aircraft coming down i'm gonna go into uh wait how can i right click is it right click no okay there we go nope Open descent, okay, it doesn't get rid of that dot right there. It should have done that, so that's one of the quirks that I found. Decision height on the ILS approach, 200 feet. Uh, temperature is, let's see, one second. Um, 28. And reported winds, 170 at 8. Uh, all right. We approach 141. Now I'm gonna do a little faster on the approach. 
I want BRF plus five. It doesn't let me do it. What the hell? One, four, five. Hey! Hey, that's cheating! <laughs> what the heck? Uh, I'll just I'll just do I'll just do uh, manual speed. And we'll, we'll go for 145. Yeah, that's that's not fair. That's another thing I found. So here's those things that we're talking about. Uh, let's bring that zoom in 220 knots. Uh, we don't have a restriction. We're doing good. Don't need the speed brakes probably. Let's just arm them here. Um, back to the chat. I did the same, Chief. The 340 is notorious to be hard to land. Yeah, I think I read that. Mr. Martinez, I saw your video with XP and his crew. In the yeah, man, that was that was once in a lifetime experience. Probably gonna happen again someday. But man, yeah, that was insane. Man. With all the people there, all the all you guys on on in the chat, like wow, it was a blast. Absolutely, no question about it. What the TA in Singapore? What do you mean TA? Transition altitude. I don't know, man. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, 130. So we're almost there. 130 is the transition altitude there. And 220 coming up on that right turn here. And that's going to be 220 knots, uh, 7,000 and above for that. And then we'll start descending towards 4,000 feet. Uh, we're just gonna keep this back to. Oh, hold on, my man. I'm so mad that this uh, the scrolling doesn't work on this. Well, yeah, we're still in open descent, which is good. All right, getting rid of the music here. Things will happen real quick. That one's coming on. The trolls cam coming on as well. Hopefully it's working. Let me quickly take a look at that. Yeah, it's working. There we go. And yeah, that's without reshade. That's with the reshade. Coming in in Singapore. This is not ortho for sure, but we have ortho at into Singapore. We have the downtown buildings and whatnot into there, so that is good. 14,130. We're gonna switch to altimeter, which is 1010 for this arrival. Forget the scrolling. I'm glad we got forward. <laughs> oh man, you guys are you guys are savage, absolute savages. All right, so we do have a little bit of messed up visibility. I don't know why, but we'll just make do with it. We got no choice. I don't want to. I don't want to touch anything that will affect what we do. I don't want the sim to crash here. Not after all this time. Mr. Yo Puru. Uh, I mean, I'm, I, actually, I know that's a bad idea to start saying, start calling everyone Mister. So everyone may not be a Mister. Yo Puru. <laughs> that's better. Greetings, my man. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you stopping by, man, and hope you have a good time. We're coming in for landing. Uh, let's see, 12,000. We gotta make it to 7,000 or above, and then 4,000 or above as well, right there. So we are looking good. Okay, he's a mister. So this time, but yeah, it's, it's a bad habit to, to have and call everyone a mister because you may not know. Jamaica, my man, Jamaica. It's from the land of XP72. <laughs> and good to have you on the stream, my man. Absolutely appreciate it. Uh, we do have some visibility right there. Let's take a look. Coming up on 10,000 feet. I'm just going to do this early because I don't want any kind of stress here uh, on this flight. And I'm gonna start an AP, start the APU. That's that's a captain's call here. I'm gonna have it on. I just don't want anything to go wrong. Don't want us to lose 
flight controls because we probably lost like three engines. Don't want all that to happen today. Not today. He's coming on. Let's go. If you bleed. Alright, 10,700 here. The real hacks just in time, my man. Just in time. Good to have you back, and now you can enjoy the landing. Let's let's really hope we we don't break the streak. We got a 75 25 for yes. 20 votes. Will we break our streak? Will we maintain our streak? We got 75 percent people said we're gonna keep it. I really don't want to disappoint you guys. Let's let's try our best. APU has to come on at some point. But APU available, that's good. Let's say there as well. We got we got nothing to see outside. Nothing happens quick in the glorious A340. That might be true for the real aircraft. But you know what I mean to say. <laughs> Alright, coming up. Let's see how we how we're looking at. Alright, seven thousand. So we're just gonna keep it. We're an open descent. I'm gonna go back to VNAV here and bring us down to 4,000. That's what we want here, and that's 3,000. And then we'll join like the short final for the runway. That is insane. That's where's the runway? I think this is where the runway is. Let's quickly have a look at uh, the chart for the ILS. Gotta make sure we got the right frequencies in there 108.9 and 203. Let's check. Rad nav. 108.9203. Alright, so we're looking good on the ILS. Welcome back, Brandon Railfan. 200 and the 300 at the CFMs. Man, I think I think he's online. I mean, he was streaming a while back. Chief was. Mr. Martini. He was streaming a while back. Oh, look at those. Wingtip vortices. Surprise trip Saturday. Alright, so we're... I don't know why the visibility is so bad. What I can do here is... That's zero knit, zero knot wind. That's very weird. I mean, that's, that looks like headwind there. Maybe once we get lower to the ground, things will change. Uh, we gotta start descending here, so giving it a little bit of speed brakes. And then the power comes up, so I'm just gonna keep doing this. That's 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 a problem with VNAV. So usually, if VNAV is taking you down at a certain rate, un unless it is accurate, that's another thing. Oh, he landed ten minutes ago. Got it. And Singapore traffic. Singapore nine five seven. Downwind for right downwind. Jeez, uh, what downwind are we? Left downwind. <laughs> Singapore traffic. Uh, Singapore nine five seven. Left downwind for ILS two zero right Singapore. Uh, two twenty knots. That's the restriction we have. Let's zoom out a bit here. Go back here. Uh, we got a one ninety knot restriction at. B pop. We don't have anything here, so we can actually, at this point, start slowing our down to about 200 knots. I still feel the wind sound is a little bit more. I'm gonna go back to where's. What am I looking at? Experialistic right here. <laughs> Control panel. Wind chill wind. Yeah, that's better. Get to hear the engines more. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm glad, glad you ended up here. And we will probably catch Chief's stream on surprise stream on Saturday if it happens um, together. Absolutely, guys. Coming up on 22 likes, guys. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Really help the channel grow here. All right, 7,000 at there, which is perfect. So the VNAV's doing a good job here. And so I, I would still say this aircraft is a 50-50. It's, there's a lot of things it's doing right and there's a lot of things that have kinks I wouldn't necessarily say it's doing things wrong but it does have a little bit of kinks there so take it as you would Flat Sim Expo needs to go back to San Diego I want to see XP <laughs> the Sim Aviator's FO oh god oh man I'll always be XP's FO what I would like to do <laughs> The funny part was that we got we got failures. The rookie was kind enough to throw us with a couple of failures there. That was that was cool, and we got to learn the troubleshooting from the from Mr. Captain Chemtrails. That was that was insane. Oh man, yeah, we gotta see Chief. I agree with that. We gotta be we gotta see Chief, man. Oh yeah, who says you gotta be here only for flights and expo? Guys, be here, man. SoCal. For the win come on here anytime i know geo was saying that he he wants to drive to california he wish he could still he wishes if he could fly to uh, drive to california more often um so that he could go and go for the weekend at rookie's place all right wait why are we climbing hold on oh hello hey we have to go down to three thousand feet hello Wait, it's stuck! Jeez, it's stuck! Oh, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad, not the plane. It's not the plane, it's this one. Uh, let's go there. Continue that descent to 3,000 feet. Sorry, my bad, my apologies. It's not the aircraft. It's not the aircraft. Uh, let's see coming in there um, at Edwas is what I'm looking at at Edwas we got to be at 2500 so let's let's continue with that up to 3000 we'll descend here we're doing open descent so I'm gonna give it some speed brakes here and bring the speed down to the restriction that was one nine or zero knots you didn't say heavy that's true that's true that's true good catch better say it now Yeah, that's the max brightness we have all right setting the auto brakes here uh let's go auto brakes one that's more than we'll ever need on this runways let's go arm the speed brakes here all right that's looking good i heard i heard the extra wind there that's him that's john so i'm gonna slow down a little bit further oh and apparently it doesn't have the flap marker so at this point i'm gonna be a good person good pilot and put us to flaps one Those are the slats coming up. Mr. Martini says those knobs, knobs can be tricky and sticky sometimes. We've all been there. Yeah, man. This is the first time I'm flying this plane, by the way. So I have no clue what to expect on hand flying. And I don't even know when we're going to have some good visibility. I mean, the METAR says we should have good visibility. It's probably explained weather. Uh, let's check here. Yeah, this one says good visibility, too. So uh, let's go to heading select. Where are we going to? Where are we going to? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, just be on that heading for now. Right, maybe I'll take that heading. Yeah, just just want to extend that because he's pretty close. Because if we start turning now, then that's a disaster. And 2,500. Let's continue that descent here. Do you guys want me to fix the visibility? Because this is trash. I think I'll do it. Uh, sorry, not there. Customize. Hey, what is that? Last updated 52 minutes ago. What is even happening here? Oh, my refresh rate's gone down. That's what it is. All right, let's go back here. See what happens. Some Someone set it to 60 minutes, and that's probably me. Hey! Okay, 
I just see the ground. Sorry. <laughs> this is crazy. Bakasato is back. Better be ready for that landing. That thing is tor torturous. Or no. Notorious. I, th I think he meant to say notorious. For going full MCAS. Oh, jeez. Uh, we'll see. Right. We'll see how it goes. Let's bring that speed down here uh, and bring the LSS on. Uh, there we go. Uh, looking at 14 miles here, so we can technically start turning left. Uh, and that would be heading. Give me one second. Looking at uh, runway heading is 203, so we're looking at 293 on the heading here. Sorry. Two, I'll just keep 297 for now. And Singapore traffic, uh, Singapore 957 heavy on left base for ILS 20 right, Singapore. There it goes, there it goes the heavy. Wait, I think it's still showing some something weird. I'll just I'll just increase the visibility, man. This is not realistic. Uh, manually configured. I'll keep everything the same. I'll just set the visibility a little bit higher. Done. That's it. I gotta see the ortho and the airport and coming over the downtown as well. We can't miss that. Yeah, see? And that's that's cloud on the ortho. Please, please, please forgive me, but this is the only thing I could find. I couldn't find a cloudless ortho for this place, so please bear with it. <laughs> it's better not to look outside in that case. Hopefully it goes well, says. <laughs> yeah, man. Gotta, gotta have it. Uh, let's start turning le left here. 239. That should be good enough to get us onto the ILS. We're already... Uh, let's see if we can capture it. I think we won't be able to capture it. We'll have to come back and get it going. So the restriction at... Eight of us is be above 2,500, so that we have set it. So we should be getting there before we get to there. Okay, we got the callouts, so at least that's working. Oh my God, I'm getting nervous, guys. Now <laughs> I'm super, super nervous. We got we got a streak to take care of. Oh, did we lose visibility again, or are we inside the clouds? XP realistic control panel. Um. Where's G or G snow? That one goes down. We're not gonna do that, but uh, we're, uh G forces right here. That's better. All right, so we're on final, and he's on final as well as John. I think he touched down. Just touched down. Typical target design call out. Well, at least they're not as loud as the A330, man. That was hilarious. We're on the localizer. Glide slope is not alive yet. And we are on a 12 mile final. So, Singapore traffic, Singapore 957 heavy on 11 mile final for ILS 20 right, Singapore. Uh, we're in a crab. We're in a left crab. That's a lot of crab, to be honest with you. Maybe it will fix itself. But let's slow down to 162. Let's go flaps 2. And we're going to keep 145 as our final approach speed. I have the runway in sight. And this is the worst ortho I've ever flown with, but again, that's that's all we had for Singapore. If you guys if you guys know a better way or a way to remove those clouds from the ortho, please let me know. Definitely getting the tollies. Yeah, man, that is true, man. It's a it's a great plane. The 340 is what I'm saying. Tolis is going to be a great buy for sure and with cross the pond coming up man that's going to be interesting all right so eight mile final let's go gear down get your landing rate predictions in here we go on that flyby gears coming down landing rate predictions in we're going to make sure everything is on which it is auto brakes are set here let's slow down to our final approach speed 145 and uh, let's go flaps full and here's the glide slope captured or following that i'll take manual in a second here i still see like two white of all white oh no we, we have two whites two reds and we have a display threshold which i absolutely love all right let's do this okay that doesn't work my button didn't work and my aircraft speed brakes are armed 
Clear, clear, clear. I don't see the reds there. But let's see this. I, I am I'm trembling here. It's the it's the butter on the line, man. It's the butter on the line. The streak on the line. He buttered it. But that was Microsoft and not this aircraft. Slightly to the left here, so gonna move that aircraft to the right and pitch up a little bit more. It's just to, gonna get rid of the flight directors here. Oh, flight attendants, please be seated for running. Yeah, this is this does behave a lot different than the Tolis. That is for sure. And Tolis and the on X plane, Tolis and Jar is the only Airbuses that I've flown. I've not flown the Flight Factor, but it, look at that oscillation there. But I'm gonna not look at the chat anymore. This, this is something very important. Gotta make those callouts. I'm gonna float, by the way. Disclaimer, because this aircraft is not handling the way I want it to. And yeah, look at that. That's very weird. We're coming up to the right of it. Just gonna keep going to the left. We have a little bit of, we have a pretty big crosswind and it's variable. So at some point we'll have like a big crab at the, at the other, we won't have a crab at all. So that's, that adds to the challenge here. And just a little bit low, let's bring that nose up. Ah, glide slope. No, why is it? All right, there we go. That's better. A little bit to the right. Yeah, man, this this is this is nowhere close to how the Tolis flies, but yeah, man, I'll take it. I'll take it. I, I don't think I'm gonna butter it here. Oh, uh, glide slope. No, I, I can't. I can't do it. If I if I pull up too much, we'll just yeah. I don't know. Look at those clouds. Lovely clouds. Landing. Jeez! Holy moly, we did it! I'm trembling here. Oh my goodness, that's five in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, oh man, I can't. I'll take the foot. I told you guys, 60 knots, manual braking here. Kept the reversers, and I was oh my goodness. No way we did it. No way we did it. Oh, crap. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Singapore. That's five in a row and six out of the last seven landings as a butter, a greasy peasy. We did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> and Singapore traffic, Singapore 957 heavy cleared runway 20 right, Singapore. Oh, my goodness. Clean up the flaps here. Clean up the speed brakes or the spoilers, as they call it. Hey, we got a plane there. I don't know if it's a static plane. And John's parking there, so we will just park there. APU is on. Landing lights coming on. Runway turn off. Strokes coming back to auto. Nose light to taxi here. Lights coming off. APU is on, so we don't have to worry about it. I'm not going to bother with uh, two engine taxi or something like that. I'll get back to the chat in just a second, guys. Just a second. I'm just, I just want to park this plane, get it done with. Wait, are we trimming? We, 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 what is that? I'm not doing anything. Jeez, what is that? I think that's why we're rocking up and down. I believe that is the reason why. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's park her. Taxi lights coming off. Hey, oh, maybe we're supposed to go in that way. I'm just going to go to another stand. That's not how we're supposed to park here. That's weird, though. 
It's very weird the way they park. Uh, oh, so we got one here. So we are going there. We're going there. I don't. What if it's a big? Man, this is what happens when you go to airports that you don't know. Okay, yeah, we. Shh, I'll just go here, man. I don't want to risk that and crash our wing. But yeah, we, we made it. We made it. And I don't care about the float. I'll get back to the chat in a second, guys. We did it. We did it. We did it. That's it. Like, the only thing I was worried about, nothing else, but to maintain our streak. And we did it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There we go. We made it safely. We still got that trim wheel just doing its own thing and now it's stabilized there. That's good. <laughs> hey, Pew's on. Let's get the engines. Yeah, it's still playing with it. Disarm the speed brakes here. Or the spoilers, ground spoilers here. Parking brake is set. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to Singapore. Gonna get rid of the controls camp first before I forget that and I will be back in the chat. Uh, let me go ahead and do this for you guys. See right Rada says Drewstone. Dave said negative 173. We did a negative 79. Thank you, Edward, for that because I don't remember. The only thing I see is Grazy PZ. We're good to go with that. Poof. Poo, poo, poo. That was the most stressful landing of my life. Far out the zone, yeah. That, I mean, I, I had planned for it. I had planned for it. I mean, I, I, I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say it, but uh, for this aircraft, I, I had planned for it. Absolutely, <laughs> in a jar. <laughs> oh God, I think you have some faults. Do we? Do we? In operative system one, autopilot one and two, GLS auto one. I have no clue what's going on there. But I mean, our engines are off, so I don't even need them anymore. We did go into that sad life. Uh, we have a run runaway stabilizer, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's not even runaway. It's like it's not going away to like just one place. It's like going and coming back. That's the thing. All right, Dave. I will see. I will jump into the replays here, real quick. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect from that. Some John, 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 my man. Thank you so much for flying with me and for all you guys. If you ever want to fly along. Feel free to ask on Discord. If you haven't already joined the Discord, make sure to join the Discord. Feel free to ask there and we will, and I'll let you know where I'm spawning, what time we're streaming and things like that. Look at those clouds. Love those clouds. Those clouds look amazing. Amazing, amazing. All right. Into the replays. We go. back let's put ourselves back on that final that's way too he said we we're gonna come aboard the downtown that was for the two zeros but we got the downtown right there for Singapore look at those landing gears hey I did not know about this this is interesting I never knew the A340 had like one single gear in the middle. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, man, Edward, have a great night to you as well, man. And 4 a.m., man, good luck with that. And obviously, you're not going to see the. That's the bug with the jar. Uh, you're not going to see the flaps or anything. I don't even know if we'll be able to see the reversers or not. But look at that. This constant up and down. I think it was with the with that trim that happened. A beautiful livery, man. I agree with that, Mr. Martini. Just gonna put. Look at those guys. It's quickly gonna get that screenshot here. All right, let's watch it. And that's that's where the first pitch up comes in.
Wait. Right there we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, that is a butter. I will take that. And we did go a little bit to the left after the touchdown. We almost got the center line. Uh, next thing we got to check is where we were on the touchdown zone. So we got no none of those markings there. Uh, we just have the blocks. Probably something to do with the scenery. Yeah, that's that's a jar jar A330, A340 bug. I expected that to happen. We can see the reversals, which is good. Uh, well, let's go. Look at those clouds, man. I can't get over those clouds. That is amazing for real weather. I have to say that. Let's watch what you guys have to see. Water. The greasy peasy. Five, out of five in a row. And six out of the last seven landings have been butters, guys. This is in. We indeed seem to have figured out the formula for those. Want to watch those reverses come out? Let's see how that looks here. Oh man, that's a hard name to say, but I'll try my best, buddy. Uh, Lotaku de Quartier. I hope I said that right, man. Please let me know if I said that right. Otaku de Quartier. But welcome to the stream, my man. Sorry if I butchered your name. But good to see you. And yes, we indeed got a butter right there. We're going to go jump straight, straight, straight to the runway view. Watch that huge aircraft come in front of us. Let's watch that. Oh, boy. Oh, look at that. Look at those colors. Oh, we got a subscriber alert going. <laughs> Chief says, great stream, much love as always. And as always, good to always have you. Oh man, oh man, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I, I, I need to get that uh, screenshot here. Thank you for subscribing, Mr. Oh, not Mr. Thank you for subscribing, LitChaz876, my man. Sorry if I butchered your name as well. Oh, you guys, wow. And time to run the music here. Go on to the tower view. Let's run the music, guys. On to the last one, ladies and gentlemen. And if you guys haven't joined the Discord already, make sure to join the Discord. I'll hang out there. Oh boy, let's look at this one. Oh, hold on. I'm supposed to go to the tower view for this one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm just getting ready to take some screenshots here. Oh, that line. Let's watch that butter one last time. All right, I'm going to head out now. See you at next stream, man. See you next stream. Really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us, man. And everyone in that case, let's watch that butter if something else doesn't spoil it. There we go. Yeah, that has to be. If the, if the sim didn't say that was not a butter, man. I don't know what the float was, but this is insane, guys. Five in a row. I am so, so, so happy. And I hope you guys enjoy watching these butters come in one after the other after the other. Always appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much for all the support you guys have shown on this channel. For all the likes. We're coming up on 23 likes. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Welcome to the family, guys. If you haven't already, make sure you join the Discord. This is going to be it for today's stream. Guys, until then, this is going to spoil our view here. So we're going to go back to that view. But guys, yeah, this is it. Until then, bye-bye. Take care. Stay safe, everyone. Sim Aviator is signing out. Probably Sunday is when we'll meet. Later.